In a momentary calm, blades are sworn together, vowing to bring about the restoration of peace and order. The year is 190, and the Han Empire falters on the brink of destruction. Brought low by corrupt eunuchs, and strong-armed by the despot Dong Zhuo. The fires of war erupt across a once peaceful realm. In the growing chaos, rebellions rise, and the Emperor's voice is drowned out by the tyrant's roar. The land suffers. Yet though they band together against a common foe, such a fragile alliance cannot hold forever. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites, as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Opportunity glimmers in the darkness. One's weakness is another's strength. Cao Cao observes and prepares. The moment approaches. Order will be restored, no matter the cost. The flames have run their course. Luoyang is nothing but rubble now. It is the work of the tyrant Dong Zhuo, who now wields power unchecked. He absconds with the emperor in tow. He is barbaric, but not altogether unwise. As long as he controls the court, he controls the empire. In peace, I shall be an able subject. In chaos, a crafty hero. What of the coalition, my lord? They have... The coalition is finished. They have lost their bite. But perhaps they can be rallied into something resembling their old strength. It seems that I must be the blade of China's justice. There is no other who can. Man's span of life, whether long or short, depends not on heaven alone, 